All right, so welcome everyone. This is day 29 of 30 day sock challenge. This is about EDR basics in Wazoo EDR basics, detecting suspicious network traffic using Suricata. Uh, just to let you know, this is very important use case for any organization to detect any suspicious traffic on network layer. The, for this, they use uh, IDS solution, network-based IDS solution. And Suricata is one of them. It's an open source solution. So let's first understand a couple of things. What is suspicious network traffic? Okay, so let me zoom in a little. So suspicious network traffic is any possible abnormal or unexpected activity happening on the network layer over the wire. Okay, so this could be machine scanning multiple ports in the network let's say there are there, there is a in, there is an infected machine or maybe one of the machine got compromised completely and is performing a scan to multiple machine in the network that's suspicious traffic that's abnormal traffic that's uh, you know unexpected of course right anomalous traffic as well now uh, this there could be a traffic to unknown malicious ip address right so maybe a command and control center sitting on the internet or um, uh, maybe maybe any hacked machine uh, it's trying to establish a connection with this command and control center that's malicious traffic that's suspicious traffic ftp upload on non standard port http connection to rare domain or ip address so there are there can be multiple such traffic Let's understand how IDS are helpful in this situation. So IDS is intrusion detection system uh, that's basically involved in detecting any suspicious anomalous traffic in the network and then giving you an alert. Okay, it won't stop itself, but it just give you an alert to the SOC analyst. So basically it monitor and, and inspect the network traffic in real time. It trigger alert when the known attack patterns are detected. It helps in reconnaissance in detecting reconnaissance, malware communication and lateral movement. Remember, this is all possible with the help of rules. If you don't have a rules, IDS is nothing. It's a, just a passive device, right? So in order to make, make it work, inactive device, but in order to make it work, you have to build a rules. So if you go to commercial IDS solutions like from Fire, Cisco Firepower, Checkpoint, Palo Alto, they keep updating the rules themselves. But if you go for open source, you have to um, you you have to get involved with some open source community like Emerging Threats, or maybe you have to build such rules yourself, right? So how does IDS work? So it has a lot of capability where you they, they these ideas solution are usually take the copy of your network traffic once it goes through the firewall it takes the copy of your network traffic then it captures and inspect each packet then there's a rule matching criteria as well if any traffic matches a specific rules defined by you or maybe based on any downloaded rules it will trigger an alert right and then there is an integration option as well. These IDS solution then can be integrated to solutions like SplunkSim, Microsoft Sentinel, or maybe Wazoo. Okay. Now let's talk about what is Suricata. Suricata is an open source solution, but it is at the same time it has a you know uh, the engine is very advanced. It's a high performance network traffic. It can monitor and collect the data, collect the traffic in real time. Uh, it also has an IPS capability, but you have to configure that accordingly. Uh, it has a features like deep packet inspection, multi-threaded architecture uh, protocol. It has it can detect the pro multiple wide range of protocol, including HTTP, TLS, DNS traffic. The best part is it gives you the alert in JSON format. The benefit is it makes your job as a sim and sim engineer very easier i mean as a sock analyst as well because it gives you a data already in parse format so the moment you upload that onto the sim you don't have to manually parse those data it will be parsed itself so it saves a lot of time for you okay so and there's also community rules for threat detection for suricata so that's the best thing now in order for this lab to work you make sure you have your wazoo server which i believe you already have if you haven't then you can watch my earlier videos then you need to have your wazoo agent in our case it will be our ubuntu server and then attacker machine 
if you have Kali Linux, it is good. If not, that's fine. You can just install and map on any machine. Maybe it's a Windows machine or maybe Linux machine. Okay. So let's begin. This is my Wazoo. As you can see, this is my Wazoo here. And I have one agent, right? This is my agent with IP address 6520. Let me zoom in. Uh, 6520-8441. And this is the agent IP address, right? Let's start with the installation process. First of all, in my on my agent, I have to make sure the Surikata uh, is installed. So I, in order to install Surikata, the command is simple. apt install Surikata. And then I have to create the repository as well. So copy, click this, click on copy, and then paste it here, right? So right click and this will be installed, right? Next, you have to install emerging rules, emerging thread rules, okay? So you can download and extract the emerging threads. Uh, emerging thread is now being acquired by a proof point, okay? So even if you go to their official website, I'll show you. You can just copy rules.emergingthreads.net. You will see the list of rules here. You see this? These are all the rules, okay? Now, I will down, you can see uh, in my, when you download this emerging through uh, emerging threat rules, sorry, uh, you create a temporary, you go to a temporary directory and then you download the rules and then you extract the file and then you save it under this directory. You see this, you create a new directory called slash etc slash surikata and then rules. So you basically create a new directory called uh, rules and then under this you actually save all the rules okay so you can click on this and right click here and all uh, emerging threats file will be downloaded at the same time the uh, it will be saved in the uh, rules directory and where it is i'll show you so you can go to slash etc slash surikata and slash rules okay once you go there i've already installed it that's the reason you see it created Right. And then once you do LS, you can find all the rules here. OK, for example, if I just take a look at a malware rules, you can do nano and you can see these. This this is the list of all the rules in here. You see this? This is the format of the rules alert from home network, which is basically a variable. So it's, it's basically my own IP address from external network which will be external IP address. In our case, it could be any. And then we define the source and port uh, port number. And there is also a detailed information about the rules, description and matching criteria. All right. So this is all about it. Next, let's modify the Surikata. I mean, you can, of course, restart it, but I need to make few changes in here. So let's um, let's modify the Surikata. So slash etc slash Surikata, Surikata.yaml. This is where the Surikata configuration files are usually stored. Remember this directory name. Okay, let me maximize it. Slash etc slash Surikata slash Surikata.yaml. Okay, once you come here, you have to make sure you change the home net to your own IP address. And what's your IP address? Um, Probably let me come out and get the IP address, right? Sorry, I config. This is your IP address, right? Let's go back. Come here. Under the home network, there are multiple private space RFC 1918 IP addresses. Paste your own IP address. Then under the external network, it just say anything other than home network but instead of that i'll just make it any okay next i have to make sure i enable i also need to make sure i enable the uh, interface right so let's first save the file and get the interface name okay this is my interface name you see this let me zoom out I'll, I'll tell you why I'm copying it, but this is my interface name, public interface name on which the traffic will be hitting, right? Once you go back on Surikata, search for uh, AF packet, you can see the interface name here is ETH 
eth0 i have to set it to my interface name which is this ANP one as zero, right? Make sure you change the default rule path. So for this, you can type control W and type rule path. And this is where you find the rule path slightly different. But if you remember properly, the Suricata rule path is slash ETC slash Suricata slash rules right so this is the correct rule path and we want to retrieve all the files which is which is ending with uh dot rules so we'll we'll give a wildcard entry with the star starting with star dot rules okay and then right? so once it is done click control x yes and then hit enter perfect it's done once it is done you have to make sure you restart the suricata copy this so so that it will take effect it, you know take effect the changes uh then make sure uh then make sure you also make a changes on wazoo agent so that whatever logs has been generated on suricata that will be pushed into the wazoo agent otherwise how would a wazoo know that what kind of changes has been done for example i'll show you something um let me maximize it i can just take a look at all the logs generated in the suricata right so you can do slash where slash log slash suricata under this you will find multiple types of log eve.json suricata logs fast log fast log is important because that is based on our logs right the the emerging thread logs so i'll show you you can do tail minus f to see the logs in real time once you do that I don't see any logs being generated at this moment. So let's let's open the Suricata logs, the general log maybe, tail minus F. You can see these are all the logs being generated now, right? I want to make sure all the logs that are generated by the Suricata should be available in uh, Wazoo as well. So for this to work, I have to open the Wazoo configuration file which is usually stored in slash where slash osx slash etc osx.com okay once you go here once you go into the configuration file go all the way to the bottom and under this i have to add this configuration file that, which says you uh, you can see this is the local file and this is the format of the file and then you, the location is slash where slash log slash suricata and then eve.json which is suricata log but in json format so i can copy this this part which is local file and somewhere maybe in the bottom making sure it's under osx contact i'll paste the configuration you see this currently it is actually being monitored general general d logs active response logs sys log I just added Suricata log as well, right? Press Control X, yes, hit enter, it's done. Now, because you have done some changes on Suricata, it's also important to make sure you restart the Wazoo agent as well. So let's do it. Perfect. Uh, I make sure the Suricata and Wazoo agent both are working properly. So what I can do is let's clear the screen first. And let's first check the status of uh, Suricata. So system CTL status Suricata. You can see it's running properly. It's running properly without any problem, right? So, and next we need to see if, uh, if Wazoo agent is properly working, right? So for this, we can run a system CTL, uh, system CTL status Wazoo agent hit enter it's working properly active and running perfect let's launch a scanning probe from our ubuntu machine where the nmap is already installed so i can run nmap minus sin scan so minus small s then capital s let's get the ip address of our victim machine or uh, our target machine where the uh, wazu agent and suricata are installed so enter the ip address of victim hit enter 
and are on our Wazoo manager and you can see uh, under the threat hunting then under the agent you can go from the beginning as well so you see the, your agent and then click on the agent then go to threat hunting and then go to the events or maybe you can start with the threat hunting directly i'll show you um you can immediately find threat hunting option here go to the events and you will find all the alerts you can see surikata alerts with their rule name as well if you click on any one of them you will find all the detail from which rule was triggered which is et drop emerging threat that's the rule name destination ip address and then the source ip address uh, source time id uh, what is the location of the logs and quite a lot of information so that's how you can detect any malicious traffic using Surikata and Wazoo.